Let, let's end off uh, with uh, the Kesha Siakam thesis and and totalism. Um, I mean, obviously, again, these are tough issues, and I, I I really commiserate with people. You know, you just get out of the Novus Ordo foxhole, then you go into but <laughs> SSPX, and then there's but that's, another. But that's- yeah, I, it's I just another, that, it's one thing after the other, but here we but are that's, and that's it's life. something we have that's to deal life. with. That's, yeah. That's yeah. the spiritual, that's that's the spiritual battle as well. When you get to a mountain, you know what's behind it, another mountain. I, yeah. I just read um St. John of the Cross's Dark Night of the Soul. Uh if you think you've made progress in the spiritual life, get ready for the dark night of the soul. And because that's different from spiritual desolation. Spiritual desolation is sent by the enemy. Dark night of the soul is sent by our Lord. It's something to try and push you and, and trust me. Uh, from reading this beautiful poem and, and St. John's explanation, it's, it's, it's a tough thing. And so this idea, I would always ask Catholics, who told you that? When they think like, oh, I'm supposed to have peace, consolation, no problems. Like, have you read the book of Job? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe go ahead and read that and then tell me about how you're supposed to be entitled to a bunch of peace and, and, uh, and unity. Right, and I would maybe, refer maybe people we to can, shall, I, shall I frame it so maybe like, um, so the RCI and the IMBC, Take the position of the thesis, and that that lineage comes from to, Bishop Ger- Gerard de Laurier. Yes, yeah. to to a slightly different extent, in that the IMBC requires their seminarians to adhere to the thesis before entering, and the RCI seminary does not to this day doesn't okay. require it, even though there have been accusations leveled at it. I always refer back to the interesting story of the two French priests, the two RCI French priests who are now back here in France. Uh, Father um, Henri Chapeau de la Chanonie and Father Damien Dutertre, they were in France. And so the easiest thing would have been them to go to the Italian Institute Seminary. It was mm-hmm. just, it's next door, Italy's next door. They can come home on vacation to see their family. Instead, <laughs> they choose to yeah. go to the United States uh, with a bunch of English speakers. And uh, they'll tell you it was because they didn't accept the thesis at the time. And so they couldn't enter the seminary. They want to quote unquote, escape the thesis. And they are, oh, they are wow. hardcore. I didn't know they that. Are hardcore, they're hardcore thesis holders now, but they mm. didn't even hear about it until, and I think, I think Father Duterte will tell you, he heard about it after his first year. And he asked Bishop Sanborn about it. And he said, let's talk about it after you finish your, your two years of philosophy. Cause it will, it will make more sense then. So the idea that Bishop Zanborn and the clergy there are out proselytizing for the thesis flies in the face of fact. It also flies in the fact that Father Nkamuke, soon to be His Excellency Bishop Nkamuke, will tell you that he was taught, and Father Chikata always taught, that there were different solutions to the crisis, an imperfect general counsel, the idea of totalism, the idea of the thesis. So we basically have competing theories which will have to be arbitrated by a future Holy Father. We're once again in territory which cannot be, which cannot be um, resolved by lay people or even by clergy. And so I always refer people, go to Bishop Sanborn's document on the thesis, and he concludes by saying, hey, we're open. This is just the thesis. This is one explanation that we have. And if the totalists have an argument, we'd love to hear it. And I haven't, I, I can't say that I've... I've but I mean, read, Stephen, uh, uh, this, the, the intellectual, uh, I think that that discussion is, I think what really got people was His, ex- his Excellency Bishop Dolan was quite vocal about being against it. And that started off a sort of chain reaction. Yeah, but that, 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 that's only recently. So those of us who have known him privately and yeah. have known over the years have known that he's quite opposed to it for, for years. Yeah. Um, but Father Chikata, what Father Chikata was a diplomatic check because Father Chikata right. taught at the seminary and Father Chikata was once again the, I'm not a thesis guy, but I don't think it's the work of Satan, right? So every mm-hmm. anyone who tries to argue that is dishonoring, not only dishonoring the legacy of Father Chikata, but they are, they're doing what Father Chikata never did. Father Chikata never denounced the thesis. Father Chikata mm-hmm. never called it like, uh, you know, um, uh, what is it? Soft, sophistry. You know, some of some some people refer to mm. all these crazy names. Well, Listen, I think debate, the, uh, the, debates, the emotion, the debates, the emotion, the emotion heated. Right, right. Yeah, well, it, new, it really. certainly got uh, really charged. I think in the newsletter, um, essentially, he was saying he was more th- that their specialties. For instance, Bishop Dolan was more in pastoral theology. Yeah, and they would tell they would tell you that they would tell you. Uh, I, I think um, there's an episode in which Bishop Bishop Sanborn. I asked him a question. Like, oh, that's a that's a Bishop Dolan question. And this happens in marriages too. People specialize, right? So he he said Bishop Dolan is in the devotions department. Father Chikata is in liturgy and canon law. Mm-hmm. And I'm in charge of condemnations, 
right? And so it's a you, you go to a department store. You if you want the but they got a, you go to but a lot of people store. got upset because they were they were, the 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 way that they perceived yeah, but that's it was just, that, that that's just not that's just not honest because there are numerous times that I can personally tell you I asked Bishop Dolan a question and he said oh that's a Bishop Sandborg question I don't know that. that's a deep theological question and the idea that priests are supposed to be good at everything is a crazy notion. Why would we have specialized seminary professors if priests were good at everything? Why do we have specialized missionary priests or priests? Why do we have priests that are in um, monasteries that are uh, Carmelites and, and don't uh, and don't come out into the world? We yeah. have specialization within the church. It is not an insult to say that someone wasn't at a, a top level theologian. Right. It's just not. And it also flies in the face of the fact that that person said to me personally that he wasn't. He said, oh, that's right. a Bishop Sanborn question. And the, all of those clergy, if you put them into a room, they would say that. And so people want to be insulted because they need to be right, because they're uncomfortable with ambiguity. This goes yeah. back to what I said about Holy Week. I, I agree that it is uh, capable and worthy of debate, and I don't have a final answer. Catholics mm -hmm. want, I want a final answer because that's how it normally works in our faith. But there were things that were not final answers for many years. The Assumption was open. Immaculate Conception was open. Could you imagine being at a time like, I'm an Immaculate Conception person. And someone's like, I'm not. Well, it wasn't defined by the church. So you could have been both. And so the same thing, the church hasn't ruled on the thesis or totalism. And so anyone who's trying to claim that either is the way, uh, I, they may be zealous for both. And I'm not doubting their, their zeal. But it's just not it's just not honest to say that this has been resolved because it hasn't right. been. For me, I hold a thesis. The true Restoration doesn't have a position on thesis because obviously we work with clergy from 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 all sides of the, mm -hmm. the argument. But personally, I, I do because it, for me, it's an explanation of why the church is in the state that it is now, where you have people who appear to be office holders who are not, who are wearing the clothes in charge of the properties. And so, and the material formal thing is not only Thomistic, but it makes sense to me personally. I just uh, think it's very, the I idea think it's very sad. A president elect yeah. and, a, and a priest yeah. and, and a pope elect. And, and, I, and I, I understand all those analogies and it makes sense to me. But the reason I'm not saddened by it is because people substitute um, these as phony wars, like the way that people get excited about Republican and Democrat stuff or, mm. or politics, that these are substitutes for a deep doctrinal or spiritual life. That is the question... Um, yes, I want to listen to you lecture me on totalism or the thesis, but can you tell me what the definition of a sacrament is? And I would argue that a lot of these Twitter people, if I if I were to able to have them in true life, could you explain to me what the definition of a sacrament is, something that you're supposed to be able to define in order to receive First Holy Communion as a, as a Catholic? If you can't tell me that, I don't really want to listen to your expostulation on the thesis or totalism. And I'm talking about lay people, obviously. I know that our clergy know. Um, mm. But it's really the lay people who've made the most hay about this. But I think the, the, the thing is a world. lot, uh, there, there are, and as with His Excellency, uh, there was was quite hostile to the thesis at, um, close to his passing. It's very sad that it ended acrimoniously with Bishop Sanborn, and that was mentioned in the newsletter. Um, and they were, they knew each other what fifty years? I mean, a really long time. And and I can understand so that people back, have this disagreed. goes back to a theme that I've talked about. You know, you have disagreements with it's like two family members things, having things, a serious things, disagreement. Things, things happen. We don't say like, oh, it's not possible for family yeah. members to fight. Of course, it is. I always point out that um, there are these. I think it's in um, Philemon, the book of Philemon. Or it's one of the uh, epistles of Saint Paul. But he says, "Please, Evodia and Syntyche, keep peace with." And you have to realize these people have um, been immortalized in scripture for having a fight. And St. Paul had to <laughs> intervene between the two of them. Could you imagine? And they're not saint. There's no saint of Odia and saint Syntyche. But he, <laughs> that at the time of the apostles, he had to write a letter and say, please, ladies, stop fighting. And this was, this is now preserved for us. And so when people are like, oh, you know, peace, unity, I said, in the time of the apostles, there was no peace and unity because we're humans, we sin. And so stop having unreasonable expectations of life, of the church, of each other, and just realize there's going to be conflict, there's going to be ambiguity, there's going to be difficulties. But this all points back to the answer, which is prayer. Prayer is always the solution to this. You ask our Lord what's right to do in your life, and you pray for everyone else to save their souls as well. That's where, and study. Prayer and study, those are the, the, the two things that are going to lead to progression on these other issues. People use this as a substitute for being Catholic. 
So people like to read about the latest doings of Francis, or they'll like to um, get involved in the latest arguments or polemics. But that's not uh, that's not the Christian life. The Christian life is not polemics. The Christian life is a relationship with our Lord, grounded in the sacraments, and uh, uh, an act of acting lovingly towards everyone around us. That is the the fund the fundaments of Christianity. And yeah. and, and sometimes charity. Sometimes love and charity is not always roses and flowers. Sometimes you can you can have sharp. I, what was it? Um, Saint Paul and Saint Mark. There's a sharp kind of. <laughs> oh, oh Saint Paul, Saint Paul and Barnabas. Barnabas, yeah. There's, there's a, a tell you, didn't want to travel with him or someone or something. I don't remember what it was, but um, I understand.